See, because like with, with that in mind, nobody can stop you. You know, things can happen in the world, and we're not in denial of that, but, but nobody can stop you. Second uh, Corinthians, fourth chapter, verse 13. It says, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. Tell somebody, faith speaks. Now, this is a key corresponding action to your faith. See, because when you're in faith, uh, there is, I like to call it, there's a language for people in faith. See, when you're in faith, you, you, don't, you don't talk like everybody else. <laughs> Let's go to Hebrews uh, 10. Hallelujah. See, while everybody else talking about recession and talking about diseases and talking about this and this and that and so and so, so trying to keep you down and all that kind of stuff, faith folks, we got our, we got, well, there's a different language. <laughs> Tenth chapter of Hebrews, verse 23. It says, Let us hold fast to the profession or really the confession of our faith. Without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Now, I like to call this the faith confession or the confession of faith. What's the faith confession? First of all, confess means to say the same as. To say the same as. In other words, the faith confession is just really saying exactly what the word says or saying exactly uh, the promises of what the word says concerning any situation. In other words, you're choosing to say what the word says instead of saying what your situation is saying. Your situation could say you are broke, and your situation say you ain't never getting out of this. But instead of saying that, you choose to say what the word of faith says. Your situation may say you are sick, you are in pain, you will never be healed. But instead of saying that, you choose to say what the word of faith says. So there's a language when, you're in, when you enter faith. See, you, 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 you can't say you want faith for finances and you keep telling everybody how broke you are. That's a contradiction. You know, you can't keep saying, oh, I trust God. And then next time you, you say, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, hallelujah. See, sometimes we, we do a lot of these contradictions. You know, I believe in God for my family. That no good heathen. Now, which is it? You believe in God or that person is a no good heathen? Hallelujah. So now, the faith confession is saying what the word of God says. It's choosing to say what God says instead of the situation. Now, for the most part, we, 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 we kind of know the importance uh, uh, on the power of words. We know uh, Proverbs 18.21 says, death and life is in the power of the tongue. See, once I got a, a revelation of that, I'm very careful in what I say. Now, it, now, let me tell you something. Now, it, and some of you know, it takes a boldness to, to, to say what God says. See, because the time will come where you'll be confronted by folks who don't know this and don't understand that. And then they'll try you to see what you're going to say. <laughs> you know, you'd be around, sometimes I'd be around some preachers. And they say, just, just talking so negative. And I'm saying, man, if the leader's talking like that, I don't see why the people like that. 
I'm serious. I've been around leaders talking about the recession and how this and that and folks ain't got no money and got this or that. Ain't that true, Pettis? I said, nope. <laughs> folks got money. <laughs> folks can't afford that. Ain't that true, Pettis? Nope. Fetish, you got all the money. I say, yeah. <laughs> they say it in love, but you know. I ain't, going, I ain't going down that path. And it does. It takes a boldness. It could be around some of your relatives. And sometimes, you know, it's not that you're trying to show off, but sometimes you're going to be called on to come public with your confession of faith. In the midst of how things look. Sometimes folks get around, they, they want you to say how bad things are. They want you to say how sick you are. They want you to say you're going through, how broke you are, they, you know. And why it takes a boldness, then when you say what God said, they go, mm. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but you know, the Lord, he did give you five senses. Yeah, that's true. But see, I'm operating on a higher level that goes beyond my five senses, and it's called faith. So we know the power of the tongue. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Psalms 45 and 1 says, your tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Proverbs 6 and 2 says that you're snared and taken by the words of your mouth. So now in order to stay in faith, then I've got to hold on to the confession of faith without wavering. You see, because there are going to be plenty of opportunities that will cause you to waver. See, because when you're in faith, obviously manifestation hasn't taken place yet. So you're still in faith. And there are going to be opportunities for you to try to waver, to get you to change your confession. Oh, my. See, if you remember the woman with the issue of blood, the, the translation is actually she kept saying. When I touched the hymn, she kept saying. She kept saying. Now, remember, she had not gotten better, but the scriptures say she got worse. But because she got a revelation, she held on to the confession of her faith without wavering because she kept saying. She kept saying. She kept saying. And the enemy will try to put pressure on you to, 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 get, get, to try to get that word out of you that will cause you to change your confession. Oh, my. When we entered this year, we said this to be the greatest year of your life. And then with some of us, the enemy threw everything and the kitchen sink. And I think somebody held on. shy of a new year still saying this is the greatest year of my life. God, my God. And I'm not saying you can feel like wavering. See, it ain't based on feelings. You can feel a lot of things, but that's not my reality. You can feel like fainting, but you refuse to faint. You can feel not, not confessing the word, but you keep saying. So that's why you got to hold on to that faith confession without wavering. Winds might be blown. Stuff may be happening. Maybe contradictions all around. You might be in a household full of contradiction. But you can't waver. You got to keep saying what God said. And then the devil will try to park on your shoulder. And try to tell you, see, see, you a fool. This ain't working. I don't know what you're saying. If I, this ain't working. 